Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena and right now I have the Ascendmate in my hands. So the Ascendmate is a device that we reviewed earlier and uh, you may have seen some videos regarding this but we missed out on uh, doing some uh, gaming or camera reviews on this. So that's what we, we are going to do now. So this is the Ascendmate and uh, this is the camera review you are watching here. As you can see the Ascendmate has a 8 megapixel camera on the back. Uh, looks like a pretty small lens but that's because the device is huge and right besides the lens you have the single LED flash so over at the top you can notice the microphone hole here so it has two microphone holes over uh, at the bottom as well as the top so that makes it a uh, stereo recording for video so regarding the camera this is a 8 megapixel unit as i said earlier and it can record 1080p full hd videos at 30 fps so that's the huawei ascense camera specifications let's dive into the camera then so the huawei operating system is actually called emotion ui and uh, since this is running on android 4.1 jelly bean you have this lock screen a custom lock screen and you can directly launch the camera from the lock screen so as you can see here this is the ui pretty nice and pretty simple you have the shutter button here which on long press focuses and takes a shot and on single press just takes a shot you can switch between the uh, stills and the video mode here and each uh, each thing has its own uh, specifications and whatnot uh, its own controls so there is a one megapixel hd front facing camera here you can record 720p videos with that uh, and it is pretty nice as you can see here from the uh, camera viewfinder itself the one megapixel uh, hd camera is pretty nice so switching back this is the camera UI again and over at the top left you have the uh, front facing camera control as you saw we uh, just demoed you and uh, this is the flash control auto off and on that's the thing and you have the touch to focus control too so if you have touch to focus enabled you can touch for the uh, controls and uh, the focus and the exposure and lock it to that point and if not it just takes a random place uh, to take a photo use the bottom slider to zoom in or zoom out that's the bottom sliders function and over the bottom right you have the gallery icon of course and over the left you have all the important settings so these are the modes that are supported in this camera quite a lot you have single shot you have panorama panorama is one thing uh, we noticed that uh, you have limited uh, shots to process so that's a thing that we noticed and uh, group shot uh, you have face detection you have hdr which works quite well we'll show you the samples soon you have the low light mode which takes uh, better low light shots than in auto you have the beauty shot that beautifies the face uh, actually do does some post processing uh, with face detection you have smile shot that takes a photo when somebody smiles and burst shot which is self-explanatory over here you have uh, live filters so these filters are a bit uh, normal so you have nothing like instagram so forget about using filters on this phone uh, not much but if you are into uh, basic filters then that will do and then you have the face warp thing which is pretty popular on apple's photo booth application if you have ever used that um, so these face warp things are just for fun and it's uh, it's there on this camera that's about it and uh, you have other settings too so there are a lot of settings here you can change the iso which works up to iso 800 you have all the image adjustments uh, you can control the brightness contrast saturation and whatnot and then you have the timer you have the picture quality picture size as you can see 8 megapixels at 4 to 3 and you have 6 megapixels for 16 by 9 and you have red eye reduction with flash you can turn the grid on which i prefer and you can also use the preferred save location in case you need to transfer uh, only to the phone memory or the SD card perhaps. So that's a quick look at the UI. So what about the camera performance? So we took a test uh, for a lot of tests for this camera and we took it around and took some shots. The daylight shots are nicely saturated and are uh, pretty sharp. Pretty nice details there. 
uh, and otherwise we also took some macro shots the macro shots are the close up shots and uh, there is no real uh, mode here just uh, tap to focus and shoot and it too did uh, came out pretty well so coming to the low light conditions uh, we did take a shot in auto as well as in low light and with flash so these are the shots and this is what we observed so as you noticed uh, the shot with auto was pretty noisy and with full of white noise and was not as bright as the one in the low light mode we captured a photo with low light mode and in that we could notice a color noise but uh, it was pretty usable and then there was the one with the flash which we can demonstrate again here the flash seems to be pretty weak as you can see the flash light effect on there the flash light is pretty weak and we had expected a lot more but yeah that's about the flash and there are also these special modes as you saw earlier uh, panorama shots we took a panorama shot and were pretty disappointed that we could not take a full sweep so just a, a bit of a co the area coverage is pretty less and we expected a lot more so that's the panorama shot you can take a look at it now and then we also took uh, the hdr photos with the hdr mode so HDR mode actually works quite well on the Ascend Mate. One of the few devices in which HDR mode actually matters. So as you can see the colors are nicely saturated. Even though it takes a bit of a time to get, uh, get a shot through the HDR mode, it is uh, pretty decent and you can take a look at the shots with and without HDR. So coming to video, uh, the phone can record video at 1080p. Uh, 30 fps so you can see what all changes that brings uh, to the ui so you can record on full hd which is 1920 by 1088 8 pixels more than the usual and all the other resolutions you can see here uh, you also have uh, extra settings which are you know uh, white balance and then you have the uh, same face warp thing that's back in the video mode and then you also have the other settings uh, video quality stabilizer it has a software stabilizer which doesn't work that well and uh, you have gps tag and whatnot so you also have the video light option here and you can also record video with the uh, front facing camera so to just demo a video recording here this is uh, recorded in uh, uh, full hd or 720p i guess it is 720p set at 720p so let's turn up to full hd and record a video now as you can see you have options only to pause the video and you cannot take a picture while taking a video so that's one thing we noted and we also took an outdoor sample so take a look As you notice the camera took pretty decent video it is not great but it is not too bad either uh, you saw the video at uh, full hd 1080p at 30 fps uh, but the colors were a bit muted and uh, that's one thing we noticed in the video recording nothing much so overall we think the huawei ascend mate has a pretty decent camera it takes good daylight pictures and sometimes usable low light pictures in the low light mode so that seems to be working for us at this price we think that the huawei ascend mate has a decent camera so that's about it that's the camera review of the huawei ascend mate do hit the like button if you like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like these thanks for watching